Hey guys, Special here. welcome to another live game commentary, our first live game commentary of Season 7. It is the pre-season, but it's still Season 7. And today we're playing as Vi, a champion who I feel like is probably one of... One of the... I think she's one of the most improved champions from Season 6 to Season 7. I actually think she's really good for Solo Q right now. I've always thought that Vi is... Was decent, you know, like you could one trick Vi, you could play Vi a lot, and you know, you'd be fine because she's she's always been decent for solo queue because she's very simple, she brings a lot to the table, and specifically, like, you know, she just she's got good damage, she's got gap closer, she can initiate if she wants to, she can play quite like an assassin. Vi's biggest issues have always been that once she jumps in, that's all she can do. She jumps in and then and let you know doesn't always have a, a lot of follow up afterwards to like do lots of useful things. And she can just instantly die as well. She's not tanky, and if she's built tanky, then she's kind of useless because she doesn't really have that much CC out of her ultimate. <clears throat> so that's kind of like Vi's biggest weaknesses. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. That's kind of like Vi's biggest weaknesses. However, the reason why I think Vi is so good in the new jungle is for two reasons. Firstly, there's a lot more AoE to be dealing with, the chicken camp specifically, and also the Krugs that are kind of like mini Russian dolls. So, like, the more AoE you have, the better it is. And, you know, Vi has pretty good AoE clears. You can use her Q and then her E. So, her AoE clears are fairly decent. But also, on top of that, the biggest reason, in my opinion, is the new mastery, Courage of the Colossus. I think Courage of the Colossus is a very strong mastery. I think it's actually one of the strongest things about the new jungle. It, like, the new season, honestly, just overall. I think this, this mastery, Courage of the Colossus, is really strong. Uh, if you don't know what it does, what Courage of the Colossus does is... Whenever you hit someone with a hard CC, so like a stun or a knock-up, as Vi has, then you get a shield for, uh, like, well, what we'll see is like, like 10 plus 10 per level and then 7% of your max health. So essentially you get a massive shield, like it's a really big shield per champion around you. <coughs> Excuse me. So this kind of deals with Vi's problem where she jumps in and then she's screwed because she just dies. Holy shit, they did my yellow. My blue. Yellow? What? <laughs> my blue. Was that just Timo by himself? Timo just soloed my blue. Fantastic. Uh, so it kind of solves the problem that Vi had where she jumps in and just dies. Because she jumps in, and then because she hard CCs with her Q or her ultimate, she gets this massive shield. And the more people she jumps into, the bigger the shield is. So it's actually a really, really massive shield. And it completely solves her issue of not, you know, of jumping in and then just dying. So, so and now enables her to play very aggressive and I think it's a really good setup. So we're gonna go for a cheeky uh, cheeky gank here onto this Lux. Let's charge our Q and just fire it at her. She's smart, she'd flash that, but she didn't flash it and now she's walked into the trap as well. So there we go. Simple ganks for a simple champion as Vi is. You charge your Q up, you ram it into someone. That's all there is to it really. Uh, Vi is also someone who's can use uh, auto attack resets, so your E specifically is an auto attack reset, so you want to hit something and then press Oh, I'm shot. You want to hit something and then press E, hit something, press E, because then it's like going pam pam rather than pam pam pam, like pam pam So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're gonna go for a gank down bot here as well. Morgana's a pretty good gank setup, so we're just gonna make sure they go in with us here and we don't get uh, We don't get hit by the, the fresh flay. I'm actually gonna keep chasing this guy because I should be able to kill him here. There we go. This guy might be dead as well. I don't have any cooldowns up though, so I probably won't be able to get him. Excellent. Two kills, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Vi's early ganks like this. Honestly, this isn't like Vi isn't particularly good at ganking. She's not bad by any means. Obviously, like you can see here, two easy kills. But she's really only like particularly good <coughs> when people are out of position like that, and you can kind of like close in on them with your Q. It's kind of hard to make the play happen with Vi. Oh, nice, fantastic. Is that a kill? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's kind of hard to make the play happen because what happens with, with Vi is that, you know, it's just really easy to duke the Q. And if you miss the Q, you're pretty screwed. You don't really have much else. So it's kind of it's kind of tricky, honestly, on her. But in situations like that where it's, like, either really hard to miss the Q or it's, like, you know, they're really far out of position anyway, that's where Vi shines. So on these Krugs here, I'm just going to go ahead and kill all the, like, Russian doll ones till we get the smallest versions of them. Although, I was going to use my E to kill these all at one in one go, but I didn't even have mana for my E. I think this is the first time in the history of mankind that someone has been not had mana for an E on Vi. But yeah, so we had a pretty good start here. Awesome stuff. So, as for your item builds, I really don't think you need to do anything special. I think your item build on Vi is honestly just, like, really standard. Uh, none of the new items, I don't think, are stuff you necessarily need to get. Uh, I think that Vi's item build is pretty much the same in season 7 as it was in season 6 
So I would argue that, you know, you just go for what what that is specifically is I would say Warrior Enchant into Triforce is probably your best combination. Black Cleaver is good as well, or you just go full tank after Warrior Enchant. But I'd, I'd always get Warrior because I kind of feel like you're wasting by its potential if you don't get Warrior Enchant. This new item, by the way, down here, this control ward, this is the new pink ward. It's exactly the same as a pink ward, except it doesn't spot out invisible units, it only spots out wards. Nice exhaust. I'm gonna. I really want to try and help the Zin top, but I also wanted to see if I can do something to this Lux because she is out of mana. I think she knows I'm here though. So this is the thing with uh, with Vi is that unless you get the jump on someone, she is obviously very easy to kind of thwart as far as her ganks go. So there we go. Just gonna chunk her down a little bit there. She actually doesn't have TP either, so we can probably screw her over here a little bit. I really want to go top, but this is like I can't leave this lane right now. I'm just going to push this in really hard. Because this will deny all the minions from, from Lux here. Yeah, I get it, mate. I'm, I'm doing something important, bro. I'm pushing this lane in. This is not like I'm doing nothing. You've also pushed Timo to the tower. What do you want me to do? Uh, I can come. I, we can probably like kill this guy really easily, though. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know. I'm going to put a thingy down here. Just to spot out any wards that might be around there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any wards there. Let's do this. Now, this is going to be a little bit hard. Because Timo's blind screws over both me and Zen. So I'm hoping if this guy gets close to the minions, Timo will like go to harass him, and then when he got when he sets forward to harass, then we can go for the Zin. I'm gonna go in now though. I think this is a good time to go in. There it is. Ah, I didn't want the kill, but my 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 red smite takes it. Fantastic. So a little bit of patience there with 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 the uh, timing of when to go in gives us the free kill. You've got to be a bit, when you've got like a very high impact ability, like your Q on Vi, if you miss it, you're pretty screwed. So you've got to, you've got to make sure you're doing it smart, you're, you're doing, you're not just like rushing it or anything like that. So I'm going to try and do a gank mid here. If this guy gets hit with my ulti, he's also dead. So I'm going to put it a little bit, a little bit, oh, nice, good flash, good flash. See, that time he actually flashed my Q and he got, and he survived. This guy's his ult, I wonder if we can dive her. Oh, she's got a roll now as well. Nah, I, we won't risk it. We, we could try it, but I think it'll be a little bit risky. Risk it for the chocolate biscuit. So I'm going to go ahead and do my buffs here again. I kind of should have used like this thingy and aimed it like towards this guy's blue buff. Like this, this vision <laughs> plant. Just to see if Vi was there or not. Maybe I should go for like a hunter's potion as well or something. I feel like, yeah, there, there she is. Okay. This is a bit ugly, isn't it? Hmm. If she face checks me here, I might be able to actually kill her. Ooh, that's heal as well. Holy moly. Alright, fantastic. Oh my god, I'm so bad at League of Legends. Holy shit, I meant to flash through it and I just flashed like a fucking... Llama, I don't know what that was. Holy moly, no one saw that flash. Wow, that was bad. I thought... I went for the greedy play and I just... I don't even know what that was. I honestly don't even know what that was. I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. Not that you witnessed anything, because nothing happened, obviously. But still. Uh, did I want to set up for the dive bot there? Maybe I should be going for the bot, bot for the dive here. I don't know. Timo's been missing for a while, which actually makes me genuinely suspicious. He might be on my blue buff again. Like, he cheesed it at level 1. He took it again. He did. What? <laughs> God damn it, Timo. Stop taking my blue buff, you dickhead. Oh dear. Like, he knows when it's going to respawn, obviously, because he took it at level 1. I don't know what Zin's doing, though. That was a good ulti. Maybe I can get in here. <sighs> God damn it, Tiro. <laughs> God damn it. To be honest, it's also kind of on me. Like, I, I should have known Timo would be around and stuff. Like, I knew, t well, I knew Timo took my buff, and he also disappeared. So... I can probably put two and two together as what he might be doing, what he might be getting up to there. Yo, you, you kind of sold me out a little bit here, didn't you? Yeah, we need to be really careful here, because both both top and mid are missing. Where's this guy going? I can't, like, face it this guy anymore, though. God damn it. <laughs> uh, like, that was so difficult. Like, I had to be really careful where I ran in this bush because I knew Diana and Lux were around here, so they could be running up. I also, 
it's a Teemo, so I'm pretty aware that he could probably just be planting shrooms and stuff for me. So that kind of sucked, honestly. Uh, now, we could probably go for a Hexrinker this game. This is probably a pretty good Hexrinker game for us. However, if we do that, it does delay our Triforce quite significantly. But I still think it's worth getting the Hexrinker because, you know, there's just so many bloody... So much AP on their team that I think the Hexrinker is really useful. It will mean that we're going for quite a heavy AD build, but you can do that on Vi because Vi is... Well, Vi. She is... Pretty much, she's more of an assassin than anything else, in my opinion. You can play her like a bruiser. She's never like a good tank, really, but you can play her like a bruiser. But I think she's like best when she's trying to one-shot people, honestly. I want to AFK so bad. Ah, it's all good, man. We got this. Teemo is up hard for you. Maybe try to roam. I'm trying to be like positive about this, but. There's no real reason for this guy to be so angry. He's picked fucking Zinzao top and he's against Teemo. What does he expect? Alright, let's see if we can get something here. Now, on, when you're ganking a Thresh lane, you have to focus the Thresh. Because if not, if you focus the Draven, then Thresh will lantern. Thresh will, if you focus the AD carry, Thresh will lantern the AD carry. And basically, it's like, it's like the AD carry having another Flash. So, whereas you would normally want to focus the AD. If you focus the AD and you're, you've got a Thresh, then it's not going to work. It's very similar to like having a Tom Kench on the on as a support. Tom Kench does the same thing where he just eats the AD carry, so you can't go for him. Oh my god! Holy shit! I did not expect that. Yo, this Ez just needs to go for Draven, man. He's dead. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, so I think it's, it's similar as well with Sraka. Sraka is probably the only other example of someone who you want to go for. You want to you want to focus the support instead of the instead of the AD. So Zin is actually doing a pretty good work here on the mid tower. Now this Zin's item is pretty bad, honestly. So I actually think this is flex Q, right? Which is that this is ranked. This is season set. This is pre season's ranked Q. But the thing with flex Q is I think everyone's MMR is kind of like whittled down together. So. So the games are in a really weird... I just realised I'm still wearing my beanie. Holy shit. <laughs> I went out earlier today to get some food. And I didn't take my beanie off. How did I not notice that? How did I not notice that I'm still wearing a hat? <laughs> Bloody hell. Either way. that The MMR is like really weird. It's really strange, honestly. Ooh, I thought I might have knocked him during this queue there, actually. So the, the MMRs are really strange, which basically means that... the. You essentially you can get diamond players and bronze players in the same game. It's really strange. And honestly, like this guy's this Zin's build is more bronze than diamond, we'll put it that way. Oh, that's a Diana. Flash out of this one. Oh, is that Oh shit. <laughs> that was pretty cheeky though. Like so specifically rather than just rather than just shit on this guy, the specific specifically why I don't think this is a particularly good build. I don't know whether I want to go Swifties. I'm going to go Swifties, yeah. Swifties is good on Vi. Uh, the reason why I don't think this is a good build uh, is for two reasons. The first reason is that Merc Treads... This, basically, when you want to understand why someone's done something, or like the actions they've taken, you need to understand like why they did it, right? What, what is this guy's reasoning for doing this? What, what was he trying to achieve by going for this build? The obvious answer there for this this game... I'm going to say good job, Zings. This guy's a little bit mad, so I'm just going to you know stroke his dick a little bit. Uh, the biggest reason why he's gone for this build is because MR. He's up against Teemo, he's getting shat on by Teemo, so he wants to rush MR so that he doesn't die to Teemo in lane. That's essentially it. Now, I, fortunately for him, there is a lot of like AP on the enemy team, so that it's not just you know it's not just the lane phase where he's going to get used out of that. He will get used out of that later on, but still. Um, now, the reason why that doesn't really like rushing MR isn't necessarily a good thing for this guy. It's because, firstly, Merc Treads is not a good MR item. I know Merc Treads gives you MR, but it's not an MR item. Merc Treads is a, is a tenacity item. You pay all that gold for tenacity and obviously the move speed. But it's not like, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not like Swifties where it gives you extra move speed or anything like that. So you pay all that gold pretty much just for the tenacity. You get 25 MR out of it, which is 400 golds worth of MR. It's nothing. Like, it's, it is not a lot of MR whatsoever. So you don't really want to be building Merc Treads for MR at all, because you spent two, 1,200 gold on 25 MR. It's not a lot of MR. Certainly not enough for the amount of gold you put into it. 
Maybe I should have saved my... Okay, there we go. Maybe I should have saved my... Um, like my ult into after he'd flashed or something, but that's still cool. Now, on top of that as well, this guy's also rushed the Spectre's Cowan, and that's a better MR item for him to go for, because that does build into useful items, like Spirit Visage I've seen on it. There goes Rush Spirit Visage. Spirit Visage on is pretty good. But the thing is, like, in my opinion, this is not a particularly good build for this in to be rushing MR, because he doesn't want to be kind of going against his own kind of, like, what makes Zing good just by rushing MR. Like, if, if he was playing a full, flat out tank, then it wouldn't really be a big deal. Like, the Merit Treads would still be a bad choice, but in, in theory, it would be fine to be rushing this MR. But Zin is not a champion who is a full tank. He's not a champion who you want to be focusing on that kind of thing, that kind of playstyle. That's not how Zin works. So if you go full tank on Zin, you're really just ruining your potential for Zin. Like he's an he's a he's a damage champion. Zin's an all-in damage champion. You want to be going you want to be going ball deep, running at people. That's what, how you want to be playing Zin. Oh, that's a good play. I don't really have anything to follow up with it right now. No, I need to get my crap. I couldn't get my passive off. Like, well, not my passive, sorry, but if, if I'd hit someone with my Q there, that would have been the hard CC, which is what I was trying to go for here. Now, if I'd hit that hard CC in my Courage of the Colossus, we managed to get team on the backside there, that's good. Like, I did, I was left alone here. Like, I thought I was, I I was going to be with my team as well, so I went really deep there, but my team left me. Now, I'm not going to rage about that, because they left me for a good reason. Teemo was on their backside, so they killed Teemo. It's kind of like a 1 for 1 in the end, but I shouldn't have really gone that deep, because we could have killed Teemo without me dying anyway, so yeah. Um, but anyway, Courage of the Colossus, 10 plus 10 plus 7% of my max health, so 10 plus 10 per level. So that's already 110, and 7% of my max health, which is 1200. So, 7% of whatever 1200, of, of what 1200 is, that's like, roughly 120, just under, just under another 100 there. Should probably be should probably be buying items when I'm not bloody in spawn. Like, after, when I'm dead, probably would be a good idea. So essentially I'm getting like a 250 health shield per person around me whenever I use a hard CC on someone. It does have a 30 second cooldown, but still. So if I'd used my Q, if I'd got my Q off here, I'd have had 750 extra health. That's, that's absolutely insane. That's for 4 seconds as well. It's not like a small amount of time. 4 seconds is a pretty long time to have a shield on in League of Legends. It's a really long time to have a shield on. No, they'll probably get this tower here, but we should be able to get some kills. There we go. Two kills, we'll take that. Now, I need to go for... Start playing for objectives a bit more here as well. I've really just been running around kind of explaining the jungle and stuff, like the new jungle and whatnot. I haven't really been putting enough focus on, you know, how I sh you know, I had actually playing the game properly. So these honey fruits here, you should be taking these. The Lenders can take these as well, which I think is pretty bad. I don't think Lenders should be able to take those. Not because I'm selfish, but because I think it actually ruins a lot of lanes. I think it's really busted. Like, if you're dominating a lane to the extent where you can just push up 24-7, and then you can roam into the river and control the honey fruit, like, holy crap, like, you're impossible to beat in that lane. Right, let's get this dragon here. Like, this is another thing that Vi is really good at, objective control. She's always been good at objective control because of her W. Really good at it. So I'm going to try and dive this Thresh here. He's by himself, hopefully. Pretty sure he is, at least. So I should be able to get a cheeky dive on this guy. It is warded, but I don't think he's going to see me. Okay. Don't know what that was, but fair enough. This guy stays around here. I can dive him as well. Diana is topside. We just saw Diana topside, so she's not going to be here for the counter gank. Whenever you want to dive someone, you need to make sure you're not getting counter ganked. Nice black shield by Morgana there. Really nice black shield. That stops the uh, Draven E from getting me. So if, I, if I'm sure I'm not going to get, get counter ganked there from the dive. Because like, it's one thing to dive one person. But then you get another person involved as well. And you're under tower. That's pretty scary. So you need to make sure that there's no one else around to kind of screw over your dive. And obviously the best way to do that is just to, you know, if, if the jungler's around. Then yeah, don't go for the dive. And if the mid laner, for example, like Lux could have been there too. Would have been... All, would have, all of it would have made it quite a risky risky job really there. Now I'm going to take this because I'm pretty fed and I'm also Vi. Vi is very good with, with blue buff so I'm going to take this. There we go. Uh, can we get this Lux here? Maybe. Ooh. This is the thing as well. Like, if I'd gone for that Lux going for the dive and then it get countered by these these all these people. Holy shit. That would be scary. I'm not going to go any deeper here though. That would be a bad idea. So what I'm going to do instead is, because everyone's putting attention into this mid lane, I'm actually just going to run down to the bot and just put attention on here to try and take this tower. Or at least get some damage onto the tower. I don't need to take it. 
So that's half health already. I do need to be a little bit careful though because people are coming around for me here, so. I'm not going to go really deep here, just enough. Just enough to push them off of it. Maybe we can get onto this tower now. Oh, wow. Well. Maybe not. Okay. But we'll still get like 60% of that tower's health. That's pretty good. Next time we do that play, we get the tower. Nice stuff. There we go. So I'm going to go towards my Triforce here. Which is... Uh, I need like 200 gold. I may as well try and get that gold first. I could go for Black Cleaver as well. If they had some more tanks on their team, I would probably... I don't know, Black Cleaver is really good, honestly. Black Cleaver is good on Vi, but I think Triforce is just, like, really, really good. How did I out-jungle you? How did Vi out-jungle you without blue buffs? Oh. I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine, actually. I was like, wait, what? Oh, well, wait. Actually, yeah. The AD carry should take that red buff. I can take it as well, obviously. Vi with red buff is great, but... It's better on an AD carry. So let's try and take all these little, all these guys at the same time, shall we? So it feels, so it feels good. Here you go, six, six little guys, boys. Here we go. Ooh, ah, juicy. That's nice. That's beautiful. All right, there we go. Triforce is up, boys. Just, just feel this. Uh, a build into this. More memory is coming through now, shall we, boys and girls? Shall we? So you haven't really got to see much of the mastery in play, but you do see it a little bit as well. Oh, there you go. Game over, boys. You do see, you, you've seen it a little bit. Like, the, the shield is, is like, I've explained to it in theory how it works. It's pretty, pretty strong, honestly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, feel free to give it that thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more educational league content. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch me streaming over at twitch.tv slash workshop. All those links are down below in the description. And most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you in my next video.